Uh, that's tough. Um, you kind of <clears throat> convince yourself you could be probably 500 with the way the games have gone. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, we're 0 7. Shown, we had showed a lot more life tonight, a little bit more consistency of you know, trying to maintain the momentum in the game. Just got to. Yeah, I keep figuring it out in terms of trying to put together a complete game, knowing that other team is, you know, going to feed off their home crowd, going to probably play better than you expect, and we got to meet that intensity, especially on the defensive end. But uh, it's pretty disappointing to be 0-7 for sure. Yeah, when you see more double teams in this game than in the last two, uh, what do you think might send, you know, yeah, they made adjustments for sure. Uh, matter if it's a bonus or HB or whoever, they want to. First two games, they switched a lot or let me get downhill. And then they try to trap a lot to get the ball out of your hands. We handled it pretty well for most of the game. I still got a decent amount of looks, but. Uh, Obviously, the way I'm playing, I got to expect that, you know, more in the future. Teams making adjustments like that and uh, just try to make the right reads and that's still be aggressive to draw attention and get other people's shots. Greg, Greg was kind of making an interesting point about past, your past second units really change up the offense when you sack. Um, but this one doesn't really pull, like, in some ways, kind of, you know, plays – your style. Um, are you seeing that? I know you're kind of sitting on the bench on the time of the game. I'm talking about, but are you seeing that shit? I think, uh, well, yeah, there's more, there was more of a set identity where teams have passed or second units have passed. Like to your Draymond's point where you kind of knew how you're going to create good shots. Uh, settle yourselves if it's not going your way. Obviously, they had a real high defensive identity and, and an impact on the game. And uh, that's just something that you have to figure it out because these most of the guys haven't played together. So uh, you got to – there's a little bit of patience with it, but you also understand, you know, we got to win games and we have to continue to – try to put everybody in positions to be successful and, you know, just control the the flow of the game uh, better than we have. That you guys have played the Kings three times in three weeks and all of them have been really close. I mean, are you seeing anything different from this year's Kings team compared to the past years? Uh, I think with... When does the bonus get traded? I don't even remember. Was that last year? <clears throat> so you have a uh, you start off with, you know have a training camp. You start off a season with better preparation, understanding who you are, might be coming in, trying to put the defensive you know mindset behind the guys. Um, D Fox is playing pretty well, uh, and then you have guys like Keegan and, 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 and Kevin who go off tonight. You know, especially from the three point line. So they they're understanding how to play together. Um uh, again, I just said it kind of creating an identity of how they're gonna win games. It's uh they anybody who's trying to take that jump from a non playoff team to a playoff team to the next level, uh the consistency is is the part that uh kind of separates you. So we'll see if they can do it. What have you seen from Fox this year? I think he's, I mean, he's obviously fast as, as lightning in transition. And you obviously know that. I think he's shooting the ball pretty well. He's been a lot more decisive. Wouldn't pick and choose the spots. Um, he's got good spacing around him. So it's what you'd expect for a guy that's been around, you know, as long as he has uh, to continue to make strides and become more efficient, efficiency is, is kind of key in terms of taking that that next step. Three years ago, not 
in the microphone of your game, which is the style that you guys play tonight in the middle two quarters were actually problematic for turnovers. And you're struggling a lot of points off the of turnovers. What are you seeing with that in particular right now? There, we're going to have, like, it's, it's always about the type of turnovers we have. We're going to have some because we move the ball. There's a lot of organized chaos. Uh, I had one transition trying to find Clay, third quarter. It's like those type of turnovers where you're starting to get a good momentum, good grasp of the game, and you get a deflection, they get a steal, they come down in transition. It's not, no defense for those type of turnovers. Um but we, we got to be mindful of it, but not feel like you got to play robotic at all, play scared out there. Just be mindful about the type of turns you have, and especially, you know, when you have, you know, 6.8 point lead, those are the type of plays that can give a team momentum to get back into it. And in the NBA, the momentum swings are, they happen in the blink of an eye. Uh, and you got to be able to do everything in your power to, especially on the road, to uh, avoid that. From first? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't look at it too much. I mean, you look at your record more. Like, anytime you're below 500, it's not a good thing to look at next to your, your team name. Uh, I guess to your point, like, you, you'd you like to feel like you're not that far off from getting on a run and putting a string of games together. We obviously have to play better on the road, but it's real early to – you know, get too consumed with that. You know, I, I heard we're 13th in the Midwest right now, so I, I know it, but it, it's not so much you're just staring at the, the standings after every game because a lot of 68 games or 69 games left. A lot of these fourth quarters, um, it's been close. There hasn't been a lot of young guys that have championships. What are you taking away from the interview with the finish those games? You guys kind of made your uh, I think it's not a good feeling to know we've had, you know, what, three or four legit kind of opportunities to close out a game. Think about Charlotte, Orlando, Miami tonight. Uh, Detroit was a back-to-back, so it's kind of tough to, to gauge that one, but it, it, it's more understanding how thin the margin is throughout the meter again. It puts you in that position where a team is feeling good about themselves, you know, at home. And it's a two possession game either way. When you are up 15 at one point, you're, you know, clawed your way back from down nine in the fourth quarter. So I think about those windows in the game more than, you know, down the stretch, especially this early in the season, because that's where you really build confidence in what you're doing when you can kind of capitalize off of those good runs throughout the meat of the game, because then you don't have to, I mean, there might be a close game, but the confidence and the flow of the game is a lot different. So we clawed our way back from nine down and took a two-point lead, I think, and it was a pretty electric fourth quarter. Doesn't go our way down the stretch, but my focus goes to those those middle portions of the game that, you know, we make the game a lot harder than we need to. In that second quarter, I think you guys were two for 10 from three, seven for nine on two pointers. Obviously, you guys are a three-point shooting team in the past because you find the balance. So they're going to come, but also maybe you can attack a little more too. Well, it was just the reads. I mean, the first question, they were trapping, so we had a lot of – uh, opportunity to create space around the perimeter with one guy in the middle making plays. Right, I was in the pocket kicking out. I took one bad one, I think, in the uh, in the fourth quarter. The rest of them, are, from my knowledge, like you could 
classify them as decent shots to good shots somewhere in there and you, you live and die by them uh, or with them in that, in that sense. Uh, but maybe, you know, early in the fourth quarter or towards the middle of the fourth quarter when they go in their run, you could try to get to the free line a little bit more. But the way they were defending us, you know, we had some space out there. 